Hello Virgo, this is your reading from the 18th of October. I'm the gift to to Susie. I'm going to ask the angels, spirit guides, and universe. What would you like Virgo to know about this week of the 18th of October for the next seven days? What's the guidance for the Virgos that watch this channel? Angels, spirit guides, Virgos. Virgos, please, for this week for the next seven days. What's the angels, spirit guides, universe for Virgos for the next seven days, please? What would you like Virgos to know for the next seven days? Virgos, what would Virgo to know about the next seven days, please, Virgos? What would you like Virgo to know about the next seven days, please, Virgo? Please, Virgo, what would Virgo to know about the next seven days? Okay, Virgo, there is a victory this week. You will get applause. There's something that you've mastered. You've achieved your quest so we have the first card is the nine of swords with the um hangman you're just going through a very uh, upsetting um you it's probably lack of sleep you feel like you're being poked or, or mentally manipulated um you're overwhelmed by something and it's like you're you're having to wait for something the longer you wait the more your thoughts turn into nightmares um you're going to be offered something you're coming out of that uh, you might have sacrificed the mental overwhelm or feeling a little bit um that you've sabotaged something by waiting too long maybe uh you're going to be given an offer your one leg is out the door and you're ready to go on this new quest um it might involve an aries or something that or children you might be traveling taking a leap of faith into something but i would i don't know it's take a leap of faith into something tempting um or towards someone manipulative be very careful what you do you might get a message or a jealous message or someone that is gossiping about this temptation or this sexual behavior or this toxic behavior um, there could be chil uh, children involved. Maybe someone is trying to get someone pregnant. Um, but I think the message you get brings about the enlightenment you need. Now, this message could come from a younger person that thinks they know it all. But the there's health, there's joy, there's children here as well. This is the God-given given joy. And it's a new feeling, an uprush of feeling of love. Or a house, there's something to do with a house. You might be moving away to a new house that's more peaceful. Um, and you're going to be gifted with something for the future. I would just be careful. There's money coming, there's stability offered. But it might make you feel that you're more burdened than you were in the first place. So let's leap of faith into something so it's into something manipulative where you're tied to something that's quite toxic and someone that's speaking badly of you, Virgo. Um, there is an enlightenment. Go with the faith and hope of a new love. But you might, someone might be travelling away to get more peace because they're trying to get rid of these nine of swords. This could be you trying to get rid of your worries. Go into more, when you're offered this new thing, could be from a Leo or could be while you're travelling, um, there's two aces here, there's two new beginnings. Um, it's like you need to um, think, is it worth it? Is this worth the money? Is this worth the drama? Is this worth um, being left on a desert island, burdened, where you've got this chest of money and you've got this fleece already? Remember, you do get this fleece, you do get it, and it's like, yay! Um, people are going, well, you've, you've achieved something, you're it's like, well, what do I do with it? I can't spend the money on this desert island, I still feel burdened by other people's passions or uh, what other people have, you feel shipwrecked, basically. So there are offers, so you're going to go away and think about it. And be careful you don't overburden yourself with this offer, if someone offers you a ring or... Something like that. Yeah, let's see what the angels say. Let's just see the angel cards here. I have all the romance angel cards. But it's like you've waited for something, sacrificed something, 
to go somewhere and take a leap of faith. This leap of faith could be a leap of faith into someone that's that's toxic or someone's jealous of you. They've caused you mental overwhelm. The sun is coming to enlighten you about about a new love or an offer of a new home, uh, which you might travel to so you can start planting a seed. But there's something up here where you're burdened. You're away. It seems like you're away from everybody. Angel spirit guys, what would you like Virgo to know? What would you like Virgo to know? I've got three cards. Yeah, caution. Caution is warranted. Look deeper into this situation before proceeding further. Take time out. Just because you've been overwhelmed or worried about something, you could self-sabotage something, or there's something worrying you where your ships are coming in, you're about to leap in, take a leap of faith in a new beginning, but it's very um, toxic someone's got toxic behavior and they, they're spreading gossip about you or trying to mentally upset you have faith in your in the sunshine in the feel in your feelings um, and look go go to somewhere peaceful so you can work out what this is I'm the angel of abundance you'll receive the money that you need and God is in charge of how that will happen have faith yes have faith and you are a light worker. God needs you to shine your divine light and love like an angel upon the earth and all of its inhabitants. It's like, don't take on too many burdens here. You're going to be offered the money. You're going to be offered new love. Um, but think about what your original plan was for yourself. Because in the Ten of Wands, he's looking at the house on the hill. This could be a big, big building as well he's looking at the house on the hill so he's sitting there thinking what was my original plan what was the original thing i wanted that's got me to a place where the mon money's not doing it nothing's floating my boat so it could be getting rid of this burden uh, let's ask the angels but there's look deeper into these situations before take some time out before if you're offered something really look at it deeply and go be guided by the, the, the light the health the joy the light they're going to be offered separation time apart from your partner is on the horizon someone going away angels are they going away to manipulate you or i don't know angel spirit guide universe what would you like something's really worrying you could be to do with a pisces a gemini a leo an Aries and a Capricorn. Angel Spirit Guide Universe, what would you like Virgo to know about this week? What's the guidance for this week for Virgo? Playfulness. To recapture romance, allow your inner youthful spirit of fun to shine. Yeah, be playful, childish, with this enlightened faith of newness. There's something new. Angel Spirit Guide. What would you like Virgo to know? What's the guidance for Virgo? What's this week? What's the guidance for Virgo? I'll take all those cards so we've got release your ex free yourself we've got separation playfulness release your ex free yourself um and uh express your love go ahead and make the romantic gesture i think you're going to make the romantic gesture to others you're spreading your light after feeling very uh gossiped about or manipulated by someone who doesn't have enough information because they've been spying on you they're jealous they're jealous of you and they're toxic um angel spirit guides virgo Virgo, 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 look deeper into any situation you're offered this week. Take your time out. The person most on Virgo's mind, please. I knew exactly what I was doing. It's time for me to heal now. I left you before you could leave me. I wish I could. Uh, things could be different. I want to be more than friends. Yeah, I think someone wants to be friends with benefits, but they're not willing to... Um, it's like they burden you with worry. Uh, so, angel spirit guides person most on Virgo's mind, give me one more card please, or someone has come up, I feel you even though we're apart, so this person might be going away but wants to keep you hanging, um, you're going to have some sort of victory by this week but this person is jealous of you, but they're saying you need to shine your light to others, to offer love to new things, new enlightened things, God given things, I want to take one more angel card please because I think I'm thinking of the green card where she says which way takes you closer to your 
divine purpose which way takes you away from it i wonder if that's going to come out angels spirit God, virgo what would you like virgo to know no it just says you're at an end of a cycle in your life call upon your angels to help comfort you and to guide you to your next step happiness awaits you now you're going to be guided by angels you're a light worker stay on with the this not the devil someone's jealous and they're toxic you're at the end of a cycle you're going into some new love new peace new money trying to get rid of the burdens of other people so be careful what you take so look we've got this three and it's like oh your ships are coming in they're waiting at the harbor to go on this quest it goes from the three of wands to you leave taking a leap of faith into that devil while the page of swords is spying yes we have enlightenment new love something there but this offer of a ring or someone might offer it because they're jealous you might be seeing someone else and this burdens you it's like well I can't remember what, how I felt originally. I want to get rid of these burdens. I want to be able to spend this money and get off this desert island. Um, yes, so there's a lot of cards of separation, release your ex, take control, uh, be playful with, go and have fun. Go and have fun, Virgo. Uh, take care and I will speak to you soon. Bye-bye.